Hi, Coach Tony here, and on today's video, we're going to talk about a very powerful scripting exercise you can use to help you manifest very effectively. And I personally love this one. It's one of my favorites, so I'm excited to share it with you here on today's video. And I'm also going to share with you why it's so powerful to help you really leverage it to the max. So let's jump right into today's video for you. The scripting exercise we're going to be talking about today is writing a letter to your future self. And this is incredibly powerful when you do it in the way I'm going to be recommending. And I'll use me as an example for our letter here today. Dear Tony, it's December 31st, 2023, and I am so proud of you for achieving your goal of making six figures this year. I know it took you a couple years to do, so you must be super excited that it finally happened. Look at you. You've done it. I am so happy and excited that you're now able to pay off your debt, take the kids on vacation, and all the things you want to do. That's so amazing. <laughs> all right, so I used myself as an example. And generally speaking, that is the type of letter I would write. But when you write this, what's very powerful about this is it's the feeling you're invoking through this letter. On some other videos, I talk about a couple of concepts that I want to kind of roll into today's video for you. And one of them is words have power. And whatever words we're choosing to write and use in our letter, they actually have power, especially when we give them certain meanings and whatever they mean to us. So when you're writing out your letter, use words that are significant to you and that resonate deeply with you. So in my example, I used, I'm super excited for you, but you may not speak like that. So you can choose like, I'm very excited or I'm really happy or whatever words that really resonate with you. Make sure you use those for yourself. And there's another concept that I wanted to kind of share that I talk about in other videos with the Abraham Hicks 17 second rule and the 68 second rule. And in case you don't know what those are, the 17 second rule basically means it takes 17 seconds for a thought to get kind of impregnated into the quantum field, into the infinite field. And if you think a thought before 17 seconds, it doesn't really have enough energy to really become a thing, so to speak. So a thought actually becomes a thing at the 17 second mark. So if you're thinking a thought for longer than 17 seconds, you have now successfully planted a seed into the infinite field. And it now can become a thing if you flow more energy to it. In fact, what Abraham Hicks goes on to say is in 68 seconds, that idea and conception that you're thinking, it's actually starting to move into your reality. And so you can think of this in terms of like a seed grows into a sapling. And let's just say you're growing an oak tree as your manifestation. Well, it's now become a sapling and it's starting to take form. And literally within minutes, even after this, the 68 seconds, a serendipity or a coincidence or something could happen where you get an inspired action where it actually brings you a step closer to your manifestation. Like a phone call could come out of nowhere, anything. We could speculate all we want on the how, but I just want to try to help you correlate what's happening here. So why this exercise is so incredibly powerful is because when you're reading words and you get really into like a great book, right? What happens is you kind of lose time and you're really focusing lots of your energy on the screen of your imagination. What do the words in the book do for you, right? It's actually conjuring up an image, a thought on the screen of your imagination, and it's holding it in place. And you're almost recreating a scene, an imaginary scene in your mind based off of the words you're reading. That's why reading is so powerful. And it's even more powerful if you understand reality creation here and the laws of the universe. So this scripting exercise is incredibly powerful. And the general idea is to have a lot of fun with it and to allow it to invoke a really beautiful feeling within your body, just like a really great book would, right? So when you write this letter to your future self, you want to write all the amazingness that is going to happen when you get your desire, right? And this is our opportunity to kind of capture that scene in our mind. And when you do this, when you write, it's actually holding that thought on the screen of your imagination for longer than 68 seconds. And the longer you script, the longer you write, the more you're envisioning it and you're imagining it on the screen of your mind and the more magnetizing power it has to start to attract into your life. And you often write with conviction. So the universe takes that as your command. 
So whatever you write with conviction and you really connect to it, it's basically like you're writing it in scripture, like you're writing a commandment to the universe here. And it's going to take it serious. And it's going to be like, okay, well, this is happening because we're writing it out. We're taking the time. We're flowing energy. We're imagining the scene. We're doing all the things perfectly that allow us to manifest. And so that's why I love this exercise is you really connect with the feeling of what it is that you desire. And you're really kind of envisioning and getting yourself to that state, the future state of the wish fulfilled very effectively. Okay. So try this out for yourself and let me know in the comments below what you think and really have fun with this, but I'm going to be sharing lots more ideas and perspectives and exercises and techniques and all sorts of stuff uh, in future videos. So stay tuned for that. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss anything that I might be presenting to you that might really change the course of your life and help you out on your manifestation journey. So with that, I hope you have an amazing day and weekend ahead here, and I'll see you in the next video.